As we have already taken the introduction of Oracle PLSQL, in this video we will start making the implementation and we will see how can we write a basic PLSQL block. While writing a PLSQL block, we will also use some basic data types. So let's see how can we start making the basic implementation of Oracle PLSQL. So let's get started with the basic implementation of a PLSQL block. So for writing a basic block, we will have to use a begin keyword to start the block and now inside this I can write whatever set of statements I want. So I will start it with just printing a message. For that we have a predefined package with some methods or procedures inside it in PLSQL of Oracle. So we have dbms underscore output dot put underscore line. So basically it will print a message and then will terminate the line. So here inside the single quotes I will write welcome to Oracle PLSQL. Alright, you can write as many as statements you want and then you can terminate it with the end keyword. So now to execute I will put a slash and then we will press enter. So you can see a message PLSQL procedure successfully completed but we didn't get any output here. So for that what we will have to do every time we will have to set an environment called set server output on and now if I will execute that block again you can see I am getting the message welcome to Oracle PLSQL. Now after this what I will have to do is I will simply define some variables will assign some values like a basic program. So for defining or declaring the variables we will have to add one more block here called declare and then after we can pass some name of variables like var1 is the name of my variable it is of varchat2 type and a particular size. Similarly one num1 variable of number type of length 3 and similarly you can define the variables of various data types as we know and then if you want to begin the procedure again the begin the program again you will use the begin keyword so if i want to assign any value programmatically into these variables what i have to do after the variable name i will use colon equals to operator this colon equals to operator is the assignment operator in oracle plsql so inside this you can put any very value like tutorials I assigned similarly for num1 again I can pass any value like it's it can take three digits so 100 is the value for me and then again for printing this I'll use the same package dbms underscore output dot put underscore line so inside this I will use val1 and then double pipe symbol to concatenate Similarly, for the other variable also like num1 and here num1. And now I can terminate this with end semicolon and let's execute it by putting a slash. And here you can see val1 is having value tutorials and then num1 with the value 100. Now, if I want to get the values from the table like in this program I just assigned a value programmatically from a developer end but if I want to get some values from a table and then I want to assign those values into this variable I can definitely do, do that as well. So for that I will again declare a couple of variables let me scroll it up so declare then the list of variables like name of varchar two type cell of number type and then we'll start with the block so here what I'll do I'll write a select statement for getting the value as we already know select is used to retrieve the value from a table so select first name that's the name of my column comma salary into into is a new keyword because whatever we will get we will want to assign those values into these variables so into name in the same sequence 
name will take care of the first name sal will take care of the salary so sequence will matter so sal from employees that's my table name where employee id is equal to let's say 100 all right now again to print the value dbms underscore output dot put underscore line so name is name dbms underscore output okay let me reuse that and salary with sell and all right so we got that the name is Stephen the salary is 24,000 so this is how I can retrieve the values from the table as well but if I want like the where data types I'm not sure like probably the name or the size of this particular first name column is bigger than this 10 uh, which maybe I don't know as a developer because DB is the one who will design the table so if I want to use the data type of an existing column only I can go for the type attribute so for that I will simply do one thing I will just make the changes in this definition and here what I'll do I will use employees that's the table name dot first underscore name that is the column name percent type so this is what this is the type attribute which I'll use similarly I will do it this for the cell also so but I'll have to change the derive like salary let me save it close it and execute it and you see it's exactly same but here I don't have any doubt like whether the incoming value will be suitable for these variables or not because these variables are taking only those data types which are there in the columns. You can also use this type attribute for a predefined uh, variable like for example if I want to define one more variable like last name and I want to make it of name type so I'll use it with name name percent type so I can do it for such things also it's not compulsory that you will use only the uh, column name so I'm not using that but yes I can do that do it like that so there will be no use no change in the output because I haven't used that all right now in case if you want to get the uh, complete row so for doing that means here I'm just retrieving two columns but suppose if I have 10 12 columns or maybe more columns in a table and I want to get them all in a particular variable it will be difficult and lengthy like defining the each variable for each column and I have to define around 20 25 columns as per the table definition so for such scenarios what I can do I can use the row type attribute so for that declare record its name of my variable and it will be of employees percent row type all right now I'll use begin so select asterisk into record from employees where employee ID is equal to 100 all right and now I'll start printing the values like dbms underscore output dot put underscore line so inside this I will print some values like uh, record dot first name first name is the name of the column I will concatenate that with the space some separator should be there all right uh, again I will use some more columns like record dot last name and then let's take one more like record dot salary let's end it and execute it so you can see the output Stephen King 24,000 
so now at the time of retrieval you can just name the column and that will be here because this record is of row type it will cover all the columns of that particular row so this is how you can start writing a basic PLSQL block